Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's presentation will be a meatloaf with a simple red wine reduction. Remember to like, subscribe and share. Let's get to the presentation. Saute in vegetable oil, one medium onion, a quarter cup of celery and carrot respectively, a teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of scotch bonnet pepper, a cup of diced red peppers. I'm going to saute this a little bit, then I'm going to set this aside for mixing. Here I got one pound of ground beef. Now for the mixing. I already got my oven preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. To the mix I will add my saute veggies, should be cooled but for this because I'm going to be cooking it right away it's fine enough because they're not really hot they're just a bit warm and uh, for the reason of time I let that be for now. I will also add my fresh scallion, some fresh thyme, just the leaves, no sticks half cup of seasoned breadcrumbs Caribbean all-purpose seasoning I'll also add some cayenne pepper just a teaspoon of salt some tomato paste And to cut the tanginess from the tomato paste, I'll add about a tablespoon of sugar, one egg beaten. Next you combine all your ingredients together for an even distribution. Now place the mix in a lightly greased loaf pan. Just want to level it so it comes out evenly. Get the corners so you don't have any uh, air pockets. Beautiful. And I will now just stock them in the oven. Now that the loaf is in, I'm going to start with my red wine reduction. Four cups of red wine, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and one bay leaf. Bring it to a boil, lower the flame, and allow it to reduce slowly. Okay, so now it's been 35 minutes since my meatloaf has been cooking. Now it's ready. I'm going to take it out of the oven. Let's have a look. There it is. Nice and beautiful. Hungry? Then let's finish the sauce. Now the consistency gets thicker in my red wine reduction and it gets slower. I move on to a lower temperature. You can see the consistency in the pot. It begins to coat the pot. Yeah. So you know it's getting thicker. Now, this is a critical point. You don't want it to burn. So you have to lower your flame right here. Make sure it's low. And you have to watch the moment you take your eye off it. That's the moment it's gonna burn. You don't want you don't want it burning. Now, you have a ready sauce when it's coating, say, the back of a spoon. So let's see what's going on here. 
Nice, right? Yeah, and it's all pure red wine right there. Nice, very nice and glossy. But to make it even more glossy, I'm gonna whisk in a little piece of butter and remove it from the heat. And that will be just fine for it. It's nice and tasty. I'll remove my bay leaf and whisk that little piece of butter into it. And this will give it a nice and glossy finish. Look at that. Pure red wine. Beautiful. Nice and glossy. Oh, you can see my reflection in there. Please remember to like and share. Also subscribe for more presentation to come. Thanks for watching.